asking for lips, cheeks, I, I don't know. What other things you're happy to do for the things that you aren't? So, well, I, guess I think we're in a position of, we have a position of responsibility. So if someone's coming in wanting Botox questions, why do they want Botox? Are yeah. they starting to get some early lines? And if they're getting early lines in their 20s, then the question yes. is, are you handling the sunbeds? Are you putting Ooh. the sunscreen on? Are you still doing sunbeds? Sadly, there's still a lot of people who are yeah. using sunbeds. Okay. But um, a lot of people don't appreciate you should be wearing at least a factor 30 every single day. Even yes. if it's wet and miserable and dark outside, yeah, yeah. and you're having a duvet day, because UVA is trying to say that. Yeah. If it's daytime, yeah. you know, we should be putting on sunscreen for three reasons A, B, and C UVA, UVB, and uh, to protect skin cancer. Yeah. Um, so that's a talking to my younger patients give. Okay. Uh, they come and ask me. And so the young, younger patients is like up to 27, say. I mean, yeah, really so young. The natural, you know, in our late 20s, because uh, our skin loses the ability to produce as much collagen and hyaluronic acid from the mid 20s onwards, so in our late 20s, we can start seeing some fine lines. Okay. Um, and that's uh, if people are wanting to get some treatments to keep those lines at bay, by all means, or, or soften yeah. them down. Uh, but again, skincare is hugely important. Yeah. In terms of what treatments I'm happy to do for our younger patients, it's ones that will. Um, are, are making them very unhappy. For example, if someone has a very short jaw, they have a big overbite, um, it yes. really distorts their proportions. Yes. And the alternatives are always do nothing non surgical and surgical, but the, the surgical options are quite extreme. We're talking about chin implant or breaking the jaw in the air. Yeah, oh, no, no. Oh, which is ah. you know, quite a, a big procedure. So, using things like fillers, we can contour chin and jaw line and bring that, and yeah. fulfill their natural potential. So, all yeah. we're doing is compensating for a bit that they, mm -hmm. they, have, they don't have. Um, because people build a very big relationship when they can see themselves out of proportion. And it's funny, I've had quite a few younger patients who come in who've had lips and their lips are far too big, they're not proportionate for their face, but they felt that something was going on and they needed to look better, but they didn't know what it was. And someone didn't take the time to sit and have that conversation and examine that and realize yeah. that actually, you know, your, your, your chin's that little bit shorter. So we have proportions we like to adhere to, things like hairlines between the brow should be the same distance between the brow and the yeah. nose. We should be the same distance under the nose of the apex of the chin. And if that's a bit short, we just, we're not yeah. fulfilling our potentials. Okay. That and noses. 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 Yeah, people yes. have a special relationship with that. I hate to have them. <laughs> they do. They do. Either they inherited it from their father and they don't like it, or, yeah. Um, yeah. or they, they make themselves really unhappy about it. So if they've got that, a deep unhappiness about their nose, will you... We'll have a long conversation exactly, it, yeah. Yeah, exactly how it's affecting, why it's affecting okay. them. Have they considered surgical procedures? Have they gone? Because again, that's another extreme. Yeah. A surgical yeah. procedure. Yeah. Now, we can't do the same thing with a filler we can do with, with surgery uh, for some things, but some indications filler is fantastic. Yeah. Yes, there's risks. Uh, there's risks to both. The downtime's a lot less. And a lot of times it'll be a precursor to people thinking, do you know what, actually, I quite like that. I'm now going to move on to surgery. Yes. Or, do you know what? I'm happy enough to stay here. I don't need to now go for that surgery. Yeah, and it'll give them that idea of what it could look like. Absolutely. Um, and whether actually that will change their life or not. Because that, that is the interplay of the psychology again, isn't it? Where, where uh, if you feel you're more confident because you are more happy with your nose, then maybe and it makes a difference. Is, yeah, if people think that our nose is going to give us a job promotion and find a partner yes. and, <laughs> and, the, and the Mercedes in the driveway. Yeah. 